No one stands alone, we'll stand side by side. Draw the circle, draw the circle wide. To come into this space and see clergy actually embracing me and actually saying the words and actually using the entire scripture to talk about God's love, the love of, of Jesus Christ has been life changing for me. I found this group of people who accepted me for who I was and they loved me despite my differences and they showed me God's love. I'm openly gay, baptized in the church and t helping teach Sunday school. Like it's it's amazing feeling just to know that, you know, I'm a child of God and people love me because I'm a child of God yeah. and the whole gay factor doesn't play into yeah. it. It's uh, now a lot of those same people are, are coming back and I see that in one of my own congregations which uh, in the year that I've been mm -hmm. there we've increased our transgender membership by at least five uh, new members and, and they're all quite active so this is a great sign of hope for me. We just passed marriage equality and we're very excited about what that will mean for our congregation that we will be um, looking forward to working with couples and preparing them and celebrating their their covenant commitment to one another we see that that will necessitate a change within the church that in order for us to be fully authentic and empower our clergy and laity to be in full ministry with the people in their communities that the church is going to have to move on this to um, help us to be able to do that and three years ago they went through the process again and the same lay person that was totally against it, apologized for the hurt that she caused these families. I think we fear too often that our church will die, that the United Methodist Church, if we do this, will be fractured beyond repair, and the church that we know, the church that we love, that I love, will be gone. But I think if we look at the example of our, to our brothers and sisters in other denominations, that's just not been the case they're still there. They're still serving God. They're still loving God. And they're still worshiping and they're still being a witness for Jesus and for God's church. No one stands alone. We'll stand side by side. Draw the circle. Draw the circle wide.